Eerie Events at CERN Up until today, scientists have never seen ghostly neutrinos inside a particle accelerator. But for the first time, physicists have discovered neutrinos, so-called ghost particles, inside an atom smasher. Keep watching this video to find out all the interesting details of the eerie events at CERN. What you need to know The world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is located at CERN, close to Geneva, Switzerland. The neutrinos, which are extremely small particles, were discovered during a test run of a new detector at the LHC. The groundbreaking discovery, achieved by CERN's forward search experiment, Phaser Group, and published in a report on November 24th in the journal Physical Review D, marks the first time neutrinos have been spotted inside any particle accelerator, not just the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. The discovery provides researchers with a brand new lens through which to study the subatomic universe. Professor of Physics at the University of California, Irvine, and a co-leader of the Phaser team, Jonathan Fung, noted in a statement that prior to our effort, no trace of neutrinos has ever been discovered at a particle collider. This important development represents a step toward gaining a better grasp of these mysterious particles and the function they serve in the cosmos. Your body contains roughly 100 billion neutrinos per square centimeter each second. The tiny particles are formed in star nuclei, massive supernova explosions, cosmic rays, radioactive decay, particle accelerators, and nuclear reactors on Earth, among other places. Though common, the particles are nonetheless challenging to capture. Neutrinos scarcely interact with other types of matter, since they have a little electrical charge and almost no mass. Neutrinos perceive ordinary stuff in the cosmos as incorporeal and move through it almost as quickly as light, hence earning them the nickname, ghost particles. Neutrinos can still be captured, notwithstanding how challenging it is to do so. A phenomenon known as Cherenkov radiation has been used by several of the most well-known neutrino detection experiments, including the Antarctic Ice Cube Detector, Fermilab's Miniboon, and Japan's Super Kamiokanda Detector to detect solar-generated neutrinos indirectly. A particle moving through a light-slowing material, like water, faster than light, is able to leave behind a faint blue glow, just like a plane moving faster than the speed of sound generates a sonic boom. Scientists can detect the trails of particle byproducts left behind when neutrinos strike an atomic nucleus directly by looking for this glow. However, despite the fact that such studies are excellent for identifying the signs of neutrinos that travel through Earth from the Sun, they still give scientists very little knowledge about the kinds of high-energy neutrinos produced when particles collide within particle accelerators. The Phaser New Detector The researchers at the Phaser Cooperation developed a brand new detector, dubbed the Phaser New, to look for these in-house neutrinos. The Phaser New is a light-detecting goop called emulsion sandwiched between two hard metal plates made of lead and tungsten, similar to a particle detecting s'more. To create their particle byproducts, the neutrinos first collide with the atomic nuclei in the dense metal plates. The emulsion layers then function like traditional photographic film, Fung claims, reacting with neutrino leftovers to imprint the traced outlines of the particles as they fly across them. The physicists discovered that some of the marks were caused by neutrinos by developing the emulsion and examining the particle trails left behind. They were even able to identify which of the three neutrino flavors, tau, muon, or electron, they had identified. This demonstrated that scientists had not only chosen the ideal location within the enormous 17-mile, 27-kilometer ring to look for neutrinos, but also that their new detector was capable of doing so. The researchers have begun developing a larger version of their successful detector, which they claim will be much more sensitive to detecting the elusive particles and will also be able to distinguish between neutrinos and their antimatter counterparts, antineutrinos. They intend to utilize the detector to thoroughly examine the neutrinos generated by the particle accelerator when the LHC restarts in 2022. According to Casper, we hope to be able to record more than 10,000 neutrino interactions next time we run the LHC, starting in 2022. Given the strength of our new detector and its excellent location at CERN, we'll find the most energetic neutrinos ever created by a human source, according to the statement. The phaser researchers aren't just interested in neutrinos, though. The team is also developing an experiment to find hypothetical dark photons, which physicists believe may be closely related to dark matter, the enigmatic, non-luminous component thought to make up about 85% of the universe's mass. 
Three things you didn't know about CERN and the strange world of particle physics. The largest science experiment in the world is still working to solve the riddles of our cosmos four years after the Higgs boson particle was discovered. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, situated on the outskirts of Geneva, simulates the aftermath of the Big Bang by launching protons into one another at speeds that are nearly equal to the speed of light. Despite the physics community's celebration when the Higgs was discovered in 2012 and the general public's relief that the experiment did not plunge the entire globe into a gaping wormhole, there is still much to learn. In a speech to employees at the World Economic Forum, CERN Director General Fabiola Gianotti stated that 95% of the universe is yet unknown. A common hunger for knowledge drives us all. In other words, despite how advanced we think the age of space travel and automated vehicles to be, we still have a shocking lack of knowledge about practically everything in the universe. CERN seeks to remedy that. It is an ambitious project that illuminates not only the mysterious world of particle physics, but also global cooperation, progress, and goals. Here are three stunning details about CERN, the largest scientific endeavor in Europe, as the Romanian flag is raised for the first time this week to commemorate the entry of the 22nd member state. Number one, compared to space, the Large Hadron Collider is colder. It is actually 1.9 Kelvin, negative 271.3 degrees Celsius, which is almost absolute zero. This extreme cold is maintained by a cryogenic cooling system for the benefit of the superconductor electromagnets, which launch proton beams 100 meters below the surface in a loop toward one another. If you are launching bursts of 200,000 billion protons around a 27 kilometer ring at a pace of 11,000 times per second, you would also require assistance remaining cool. Proton beams hurtle in opposite directions around the ring until they clash with such force that they produce a variety of subatomic particles, including the Higgs boson. The information from the 40 million collisions per second is then processed by a group of enormous detectors. Number two, the God particle is not the Higgs boson. Physics had a theory but no evidence to support how fundamental particles like electrons and quarks acquired their mass prior to the discovery of Higgs on July 4, 2012. Due to his irritation, Nobel Prize winning physicist Leon Lederman chose the title The Goddamn Particle. If the universe is the answer, what is the question? For his 1993 book on the issue. His publishers changed it to The God Particle because they thought this would be less contentious but this has infuriated others who think that religion and science are two distinct fields. The discovery of Higgs boson does not establish or exclude the existence of God, but it does strengthen the standard model, a physics hypothesis formulated in the 1960s that describes the fundamental components of matter and the forces that control them. One of the parts keeping the puzzle together was the Higgs boson, a blip in the data that showed the elusive particle was originally noticed by Fabiola Gianotti, who oversaw the Atlas group at the time it caught a glimpse of it. She confessed, I still get goosebumps. Number three, we still don't understand 95% of the universe's matter. Even with the Higgs boson, the standard model is still insufficient because it only accounts for three of the four fundamental forces, leaving gravity missing. The problem is that there is no framework connecting these two theories to give us a comprehensive knowledge of the cosmos even if the theory of relativity adequately addresses gravity. Furthermore, dark matter, which is considered to give galaxies extra mass and makes up 27% of the universe, is not explained by the standard model. The mystery surrounding dark energy, which makes up another 68% of the universe and is assumed to be connected to vacuums, is equally troubling. In reality, only 5% of the entire universe is made up of the matter that we currently understand, which includes all of the stars and galaxies. It suffices to state that there is still plenty for scientists to learn beyond the Higgs boson, with possible practical uses that are probably beyond what we can currently envisage.